The skies shrouded in smoke, the roads clogged. It's bad, it's bad. The Flood Falls Trail fire near Hope, suspected to be man-made, has been out of control for days, growing to more than 500 hectares. 12 homes in the area have been ordered to evacuate. Our wildfire crews continue to protect identified values with a focus on the north flank at low elevations near Highway 1 using a water delivery system. The thick smoke blanketing much of the region but posing a particular challenge for residents near the flames who have been advised to stay indoors. Obviously it's very concerning. Uh, the smoke uh, is a hazard in the community right now. The air quality is very poor. On Sunday, Highway 1 eastbound was shut down between Highway 9 and Hope. The closure carried over into Monday with detours causing long delays for many. Two hours? Two to three hours, we're expecting. The traffic and fires cause of both concern and frustration. It just happens all the time, more and more. I don't think we're looking after the forest properly. But I think it just speaks to the, the world we're living in here with climate change and uh, you know, I think we're going to see more and more of it as we go on. Eastbound traffic on the highway did reopen as of Monday evening. While officials hope a burst of cooler, wetter weather will help fight the fire and ease some of the smoke. We're hoping that tomorrow with lower temperatures um, and a chance of light showers on Tuesday and Wednesday, that uh, visibility should be, uh, should be better. Cooler weather that might mark the end of summer, but the wildfire season is far from over. John Hernandez, CBC News, near Hope.